As you recall in the last video, we used this uh, class, C Sharp class, to uh, create a record of student information. And these fields were the uh, the column values of that record, in effect. And ultimately, we created a table of information with a generic list of these values. Well, if we're going to ultimately do a video on uh, column clicking to sort <coughs> a list view, we're going to need a, a list view. And the obvious uh, column headers for the list view are these field values. And one thing I did with the field values is I switched the uh, student name and the student number because the student name much makes a much better primary field. So if we drag over a list view, to our form, and then resize it, and give it a meaningful name like uh, LSV student data. And then in order to put in the column headers, we're going to need to edit the column collection. So this brings up the column header collection editor. And we need to add the fields that we were talking about before. I always like these in A to Z rather than category. So the first column we want is student name, so I'll just cut and paste that and add that to the text value. And then add the next column. Which is student number. Hope you're not getting seasick with all this back and forth. And add that as a text value. And I've done the same thing with the next two columns. I have average mark in the last column and date of birth in the next to the last column. And if I click OK, you notice you can't see any columns. And that's because we have the wrong view. Uh, the view is set to large icon and we need to set the view to details. And now we see we've got the, the fields, but they're really too small. So we want to stretch these out. Student name is going to be the longest. And student number, you just need to make that as big as the, uh, the header name. Date of birth. Uh, that's probably good enough. And average mark. Actually, this is probably way too big in a lot of ways, unless we increase the font size. We got to do that, increase the font size. Make it more readable anyhow. Make the font size, say, 14. Now our fields are too big. Drag this over more. And that's probably enough for this video. Basically we've created the list box and now we're going to have to figure out in the next video how to add the data we're inputting into this list box. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.